I think it's brilliant, but I also thumb. Wow, I'm forgetting how to speak. I think it's brilliant, but I also. Th Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's new original movie, White Noise. It has Adam Driver in it, so I signed up. Will you? Because Adam Driver is in it. Maybe you should. Let's talk about it. White Noise dramatizes a contemporary American family's attempt to deal with the mundane conflicts of everyday life while grappling with the universal mysteries of love, death, and the possibilities of happiness in an uncertain world. It's often hilarious and horrifying, lyrical and absurd, ordinary and apocalyptic. This film has to be one of the weirdest, strangest, brilliant, awful films I've seen in a long time. It's really hard for me to wrap my head around it. It has a fantastic cast, including Adam Driver, Greta Gerwig, Don Gild. And it's directed by Noah Baumbach, who is the same director who directed Marriage Story. Obviously, Adam Driver was in that. And as I was saying, this film is certainly unique. I wasn't sure I was going to stick it out in the beginning because the dialogue is so unique and so different. I felt like I was watching a play, just a stage play of people talking over each other. Some people are going to have real difficulties watching this film, not because it's a bad film. No, if you are one of those people that can go to a pub and listen to a conversation in amongst everybody else having conversations at the same time and you can focus in on that conversation with all of that ambient noise going on at the same time then you will love this movie for people that get overwhelmed with that noise and can't concentrate and you're the person that's sitting there at the back just kind of nodding your head and pretending that you're getting the gist of the conversation but really you can't pick it up or if you struggle to hear in those bits or focus on a bit of dialogue then you're going to struggle with this movie and the first scene really showcases that we have this family unit daughters and sons wife and father they all come down and they're having conversations with each other various family members at the same time one conversation will be talking about the weather or what's going on with school what's going on with work what they're eating what their dietary requirements is and all of that is flying over each other this way and that way left right and center and my brain is frazzled 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 as i'm watching i'm trying to concentrate on a particular conversation that is happening and then will be jumping into another now sometimes it focuses and it allows you the filmmaker at least the director allows you to follow that conversation as it zooms into another part of the room and then i can breathe a sigh of relief but a lot of the time you're getting these conversations that are overlapping on each other and my brain is really struggling to pick up what's going on and then the themes of the movie is about death it's a big big theme of this film death and how we confront that or whether we try not to confront that it just kind of throws that question up there and sometimes this film goes like the apocalyptic route there's a big storyline of something that's happening in the town and it feels very steven spielberg suddenly you feel like maybe you're in a et movie or a more kind of j abraham super 8 film and that all got me excited and that was kind of where i was invested in the story but underneath, you're kind of watching a very indie, artsy Wes Anderson film with this quirky dialogue of people talking over each other about life and death and love and marriage and all of the things that make life go, what makes a family life. That's what this film is. It certainly is one of the most unique films. I think some people think it is brilliant, but I also think some people will think this is absolute nonsense and contrived rubbish. I get it and I understand both arguments. It is based or adapted from a book. It's not based on a real life story. I've seen some people going, was this based on a true story? No, this is based on a book, a very celebrated book. And I feel like it's been adapted quite well, especially because of that dialogue that's in there. The performances are fantastic and Adam Driver is great. And Greta Gerwig often steals the show with her underrated acting she's very softly spoken she doesn't have that much dialogue when she does again it's quirky you believe Greta uh, and Adam Driver as husband and wife as mother and father and Don Child's character he's this professor in this place where everybody seemed to be brilliant professors they're the best of the best and his quirky dialogue often makes me feel uncomfortable and I think that is very big name of the game or the aim of the game 
is to make you feel uncomfortable watching this. There are a lot of shots that just feel weird, too close, too brightly lit, too weirdly soundtracked and scored. It's a film that's going to make you go, what am I watching? And you may come away going, I love that. And then half an hour later going, what was that nonsense? It's definitely a film that I think that everybody should watch at least once. I'm going to go back and watch it a second time so I can pick up all that dialogue I missed and maybe get more of those themes that I know are in there. I kind of want to watch it with my son to get his perspective and my wife to to see whether she can even stick it out let me know your thoughts and feelings on this film are you going to check it out it's at select cinemas now i will be talking about this with movies and munchies on sunday as well in depth so hopefully you will stick around for that and get his perspective chris's perspective but it also is coming to netflix i think next week sometime so look out for that i'm going to give this a tentative four nicholas cages out of five <laughs> and you got one Congratulations. And also two Nicolas Cages out of five. To <laughs> you got one. Congratulations. Depending where I'm thinking at the time on the lens, it keeps going like that. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.